Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Nosh's Quest to Gold, where my epic probe split is so good that I'm not going to move this probe at all. Good luck, have fun, I say to my opponent Sideath, who's going to be my Zerg opponent. There we go, back to work, son. My Zerg opponent, the blue Zerg, playing here up the top right of the map. I've completely just forgotten the name of because I never pay attention to the names of the maps because I'm a terrible caster. And over here, top left, is myself, Nosh. Now, if you've seen any of my Quest to Gold at all, this is going to be a Silver Edition Quest to Gold, but if you've seen any of them before, you'll know that uh, my standard opener against Zerg, as you're about to see, is a 9 pylon down the front here to make sure that I can get a nice wall off in case we're getting 6 pulled, 10 pulled, 8 pulled, all in rush, something like that. And then off we go to scout. Actually, it looks like I'm going to be going the right direction the first time. Off to scout, make sure that there's not going to be an early expand. Wow, that was a good follow there, Nosh. Make sure there's not going to be a nice early expand or anything. Um, yeah, and if there is, just forget the shit out of it. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going to go on here. And uh, my opponent here, Sidath, um, he does appear to be doing just that. As you can see, he's droning up, droning up, droning up. He's actually getting his gas down on 12, which is interesting. Maybe uh, a gas into pool uh, with a little bit of zergling speed. But as you can see, this, this drone, I thought he was going to move down here, but he's actually not going to move down here. He's actually off to scout, and by the looks of things, he's gonna head up down here but the this this overlord that I'm failing at finding this overlord's gonna scout the correct base so popping around I can see that there is gas um, but no pool so we're gonna have a quick look down here make sure that you know there's maybe a base there's no base okay so off we go we've got to run away from that drone that's gonna bite us gives a wee nibble and have a check back up at the base make sure that if there is a spawning pool that we can find it there you go See, so come come back up, come back up, Nosh Probe, let's see, let's find that spawning pool, there it is. Yeah, I found the spawning pool. So we've got a spawning pool, maybe, you know, pump, hang on back down here, make sure that there's no expansion or anything like that. Back at home, my gateway's just finishing, I'm about to plant my cyber core. I'm about to plant my cyber core. I'm about to plant my cyber core. There you go, he plants a cyber core, leaving a nice, nice little one zealot size gap here to make sure I can get that blocked. Um, probably keeping up on my Elite Probe Micro, making sure <laughs> that we can block this expansion. Now, I would love to see myself put a pylon down, uh, but I didn't. We're just actually going to leave and let him put his base down. So we see he's expanding, and um, the best thing to do would be to pull away, make sure that you're forgating as quickly as possible, get a proxy pylon up somewhere, or, I don't know, maybe down here, or up here. You know, just, just get out of the way, make sure that we're ready for the attack. But back at home, you can see my zealot is not blocking that zealot size gap, because he's a slacker. That actually looks a bit more... I don't know, that that's that's a fat zealot gap. That's a zealot that's, you know, been to McDonald's. I don't know, maybe a link could squeeze there. That's your zealot that's been to McDonald's a few times and had a couple of burgers gap that I've got there. Um, as you can see, for some reason, I'm, I'm chasing down this drone. I don't know why. I don't really know what a drone's going to do into my base, but... Um, back at home, we have warp gate started. We only have the one gateway, but I imagine I'm going to add on gateways 2, 3, and 4 not long from now. There's one. Another one up here, maybe. Oh, no. Down here. That's gateway 2, gateway 3. Come on. Place your bets. Gateway 4, gateway 4, gateway 4. I've got the resources for it. Up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. Gateway 4. Gateway 4. Gateway 4. Come on. Come on, Nosh. Come on. Gateway 4. Oh, I'm breaking my own heart here breaking my own heart. Anyway, I've had a wee poke away. You're going to see that I'm going to pull down here, maybe get a pylon up on the high ground, make sure that doesn't get scouted. At the same time, I'm bringing out a sentry to back up my zealot, and just to make sure if anything does rush the ramp, I can force field it if things get a little bit too hairy. And there we go, gateway four. I win. It's almost like I'm playing this game, or have perhaps previously played it in the past. Now, it does look like I'm a little bit oversaturated, as I've mentioned before. When I foregate, I don't cut probes like I should be doing. Um, occasionally if I'm putting in like a, an assimilator here then I should have enough drones to be fully saturated with a double assimilator. Um, looks like an overlord scout's going to come through. He hasn't actually spotted the gateways up at the back which is nice. He's not going to see that it is a four gate coming on through. It could be a couple of gateways expand. Um, Sign Death does have his uh, second up and running, his natural up and running. He's actually just about to finish overlord speed and he's got a queen at both expansions. He's looking in quite a good economic position. Um, whether or not he's ready for my push, we're going to find out in a minute or two. Um, it looks like these forces down here, uh, this sentry, 
Ah, it was the sentry that got the kill. Good good job, sentry. The sentry and the stalker managed to take out that scouting overlord. Now, as a response, and the correct response as well, from Sidath, we do have three um, spines coming on through. And not too soon as well, because as you can see, with another pylon being placed over here, here comes the four gate push. Um, four lings are coming on... Uh, four lings? Yep, four zerglings. Protoss zerglings. Four zealots are coming on through. They're going to make light work of this queen. I would have actually liked to see myself maybe get some sentries in to make sure that I could get this ramp blocked. But nevertheless, we're going to kill a couple of these spine crawlers. A good number of drones as well. The drones have actually came off the line and are giving themselves free kills. Going to run these guys away from the spine crawler here. But with the damage that we're getting from the queen and now the damage that's coming from this spine, it is a little bit high. Um, so the Forgate is well in its way, um, Sidath is not panicking at all, he's got six links coming on through along with this big swarm of links, that's actually going to get a nice surround. Would have been good to see, as I said, one, either if I had a sentry out, or brought my sentry from home to force field this ramp, or again if I'd maybe pulled um, my stalkers just along here, along the wall, so they couldn't be a full surround. Now I have actually stopped all mining altogether on this base, and obviously um, Sidath is making sure that he's building lings rather than drones to hold off any more attempts from a four gate coming on in. As you can see, I do have four zealots waiting at the bottom of the ramp to make sure nothing comes in, along with these four zealots have just walked in now. Now, trying to keep away from the spine crawlers, trying to make sure the lings don't give you a full surround, we're just going to do a little bit back and forward, back and forward, back and forward, get rid of a queen, that's nice, pull back. There we go, the lings will run into the zealots, but we're actually holding the line on the top of the ramp here to make sure that one, we don't run into the spine crawlers, and two, that we can't get a full surround, we're actually blocking the ramp here. And I'm not the best play by myself, as I said, a sentry would have probably won me this match, but with enough warpings coming from my zealots at the back, um, and the fact that my opponent's moving a spine crawler now does seem like a good time to attack, Nosh, I'm not going to lie. Before those lings, there you go, yeah, 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 get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go, a full surround's coming on in. Um, but I've managed to kind of get a little choke between his two spine crawlers, and I think he's realized that he's lost this base. With all these zealots coming on in, Sidath is going to lose this base. Quick work of the two spine crawlers. <laughs> Sidath's a little bit pissed off there. Noob Foregate. But as you can see, during this time, he did actually manage to get his roach worn up. That's just up here in his base, just right at the back. He has managed to get his roach worn up. What I would like to see myself do now that I've done that is pull out. Um, no, don't run up there. You're going to lose all your shit, Nosh. Pull out, maybe just hang around here, make sure that there isn't, um, you know, to, to delay the expansion a little bit more. I would like to also see myself move down into my fucking second base, but apparently no, we're just going to run on in and lose all these zealots. So, here we go, here's me losing all my zealots. The links don't get a full surround, but with the, the lack of health in most of these zealots, plus the links, plus the roaches, plus the queen, this is just going to be too much. So this is me throwing away my whole army, as I said, a perfect scenario there. You've got rid of his base, pull back, get your base up. That's what I should have been doing. But no, no, we're just going to continue to warp in some more units. So there you go, there's my mistake. As soon as I saw roaches, I should have just pulled on out of there, but that's that's just the price you pay. Now I'm actually dropping my expansion, getting a pylon down. Um, I'm going to need to start warping in sentries, which is fine, because apparently I have so much gas. I'm going to need to start warping in sentries to make sure that I'm blocking um, this ramp. Um, as soon as that pylon finishes, I would like to see a forge, a gateway, a, a bunch more gateways. Just just anything to make sure that lings and roaches don't just come streaming up this map. Um, now, having a look here, I think that ling might have just spotted... <laughs> might have just spotted my proxy pylons, no? And this, this again. Oh no, I'm supply blocked. Quick, plant proxy pylons next to his base. This does seem... A little bit over the top. I would have actually preferred to see me put these back at home. But almost like um, back in the past, I could hear my own thoughts. I have planted a couple of gateways down here. I do have just sentries coming out. So, for the mistakes I've made, I'm actually doing some good stuff. A fort here as well is nice. It would be good to see a couple of cannons to make sure that this is well defended as well. Um, also, a robo would also be nice, or at least something to scout to see when this expansion gets dropped back up. If he does decide to go for a third, you know, maybe just any any scouting or observers, because the moment I'm playing blind, I have no idea um, that this is back up. I have no idea what kind of forces we're looking at. You know, I mean, I've actually I've, I've dealt quite a good blow. If we have a look at resources lost, units lost? If we have a good look at units lost, it's actually pretty even, um, which it shouldn't be. I should have really pulled out. Lol. Um, I should really have pulled back on my forces and made sure that I didn't lose all of my stuff. Now, as you see, a nice little march of roaches running across the field as I'm getting my plus one. He's going to come over here, um, and he's 
just gonna he's actually dropping his third which is nice good to see that he's behind he realizes he needs the economic advantage but just happens to spot these pylons so there we go that's me gonna lose 400 minerals probably to probe as well yep 400 minerals i'm gonna get supply blocked if i lose all of these so again if ever you know you're warping in off your four gate make sure you're putting your pylons back in your home base now I do have a nice block up here with the three gateways, I do have my uh, natural up and mining, so I'm not in the worst of positions. I do actually have a nice army and having a quick look at army supply, I'm actually leading in the army supply even though I'm quite heavily supply blocked, 69 out of 60 there. So now with my money that's coming in I should definitely be making pylons, yep, a couple of pylons on the edge of the base, make sure that any mutas that are coming in um, or any drops or any scouting overlords or anything will be spotted straight away, that's actually not a bad place for my pylons, I've got my forge getting my upgrades, that's where I should be spending my money till I can put a little bit more into my army. Um, from my robo I don't actually think, have a quick look at units, yeah I don't actually have an observer out, there we go, thank you Nosh. Get an observer, get some scouting on, see what's actually going on, see if my opponent's coming, see if he's rushing, see if he's dropping a third, anything at all would be quite nice to do. Um, have had a quick look, I'm getting another round, I'm actually going for stalkers, obviously zealots aren't terribly good against um, the roaches, so getting some stalkers in is good, but it would also be good to see a couple of warpins of zealots to be up the front, making sure they're taking lots of the damage. And these sentries as well are going to be very handy. Um, it's actually quite a lot of sentries, but they're going to be quite handy for making sure I have enough force fields and any guardian shields as well if the roaches are attacking from range. Now, plus one is just about finishing. I'm also getting down my Twilight Council, as you can see, which should help me out. Um, I would probably opt for Blink and then straight to plus two weapons. Um, this is actually a very reasonably recent game from how I've played, so I do recognize, or I do kind of, obviously I can get into the own logic of myself, get my own mindset. Having a quick look back at my opponent's base, not a lot's been going on, that's him finally getting his lair coming on through in his main base. Um, I don't know what he's exactly transitioning into, but he's also be getting his missile attacks level 1 up. He's got his third going down, he's actually just transferring his workers over now, so he's getting his third up and saturated, which is nice. He's getting a queen out, which is nice. Um, yeah, not actually a lot to say about my good opponent. He's, you know, massing up roaches, it's a very, very common thing to do. He's got his overlords, he's got his roaches, he's got his lara, he's got his lair. It'll be interesting to see what he does once he gets his lair out, whether or not he's just going to be going for, like, level 2 upgrades or whether he's actually going to make a transition. We have seen him drop another Evo Chamber, he's actually also going for Spore Crawlers, so I don't know whether he's afraid of DT, or afraid of some degree of air attack, or maybe he just doesn't want Observers sneaking up and down in his base. Now, talking about Observers, and actually nicely timed for me talking about Observers you're going to see, my Observer just sneaking on across, checking out, there we go, that's me spotted that there is a third, um, and we're moving in to take that. We have Glyle Reconstruction, which is your Roach Speed coming on through for my opponent, which is about time. It's good to see that coming on through. At the same time, back in my base, I've actually moved out forward from the rocks there. I would actually like to see myself move into a third, get some, you know, buildings up in this choke, maybe hold, try and hold more of a central position of the map. But anyway, I've got my Blink coming out, I've got my armor just finishing, I've got another Observer coming out. At the same time, my opponent is starting his, ar um, his armor upgrade as well, and he's also getting a bunch more Roaches working on his army numbers. Now, around this start of time, I would like to see myself push in. I have seen the third. Maybe move the observer to around here, because there's not a lot of creep spread. Make sure I've maybe got a couple of sentries up here to force field this ramp, because I've seen the bulk of his armies up there, and then push down on into the third. Um, back at home myself, I'm actually not moving towards any more tech. It does actually look like I'm gearing up for a push. Um, there we go. A scouting overseer has just run through my base and managed to spot practically everything that's going on. He can see that my army is nowhere to be seen, so I imagine my opponent is probably quite prepared for a push coming. Um, I do have a lot of chronos saved up on both of my nexuses. I would like to see maybe a transition for myself coming soon, but um, I'm not exactly micro king. So as you can see, here we go. Push is coming into the third. Now, Sideth's army is terribly out of position, it really should be sitting in that little gap between the third and the natural, just to make sure that if something like this happens, um, he's, you know, not at a loss, because this base is dead. These drones are dead, everything here is dead, my entire army is here, a couple of force fields at the back to make sure roaches can't run on up in my army, and I'll also have the high ground, so... No chance of the roaches getting in. Side Death realizes this, another couple of force fields go down to double make sure that nothing's coming in to get me, so he runs on back home, makes sure he defends his second. Now because I've just taken this second now, I would really, really, really like to see me maybe hold a defensive position in the middle of the map, 
and then just stay away from this bulk of roaches. My army is not going to be able to engage this. If we have a quick look, missile attacks level 2 coming out. 10 roaches just popped out. Another 5 are on the way. 4 are on the way. There's a spire coming. So I really should grab my army, move back on home, hold the watchtowers, make sure nothing bad's going on, get my third up. That's what I should be doing. Um, at the moment, though, I've decided with my observer, with my vision, I can see the roach army here. Um, I'm taking out the creep, which is nice, but this number of... Yeah, those, those force fields are alright, but this number of forces is not going to do that well against the roaches. I could have done with a lot more zealots at the front, as you can see there's no damage being tanked, it's all being taken by the stalkers. And I don't know why I decided to blink to the other side of the roach force, but at the moment that's, that's my whole army being cleaned up by a good number of roaches. I mean, the moment the roaches are 1-1, one, one, my forces are also 1-1, one, one, but just sheerly in numbers I've just lost that engagement. I'm also now behind in army supply and behind in, well not bases, but... There we go, Sidath is looking in a much, much better position. He's gone from having two bases wiped out to just taking out my whole army. So again, that was a poor decision for me. Um, the Spire's now finished, but we don't actually see anything coming out of it straight away. We have Missile Attacks level 2 coming out of this evil chamber, but not a great deal else. There's actually not a lot of mining going on at the top base up here. A lot down here, but at the moment you can see um, Sidath isn't working on getting out um, another base, he's not working on, he's actually droning up, but he's coming straight for the counter-attack, which is very much like what he should be doing. Now me, this time around, I've decided not to go for sentries to force field the ramp, I've decided just purely to go for units. Having a quick look at the army supply, I'm almost half the army of my opponent, so this isn't going to go well at all. Um, so from what was going very well for me, uh, an engagement which was actually working quite nicely in a match that I was in quite a good position to winning, I've gone, you know, the coin's been tossed, I've been flipped to the other side of it, and I'm now going to lose to this big roach push. And now thankfully watching replays, um, all the time I'm trying to learn to be a better gamer, as Day9 would always tell us to be, and from this I've seen two very big points to be taken out of this game. The first one, of course, as uh, sorry, I'm just going to let the, the last 15 seconds or so of this game play out before going into it. It was a good counter push with Sidath. He did well with his roaches. He did well to not just straight up lose the game. Good game, well played, I say. Thank you very much, says Sidath. Sidath, and there we go. That is the end of the game. I leave. Now, the first thing I would like to have seen myself do is after I killed the natural here would be to pull on back with my forces, maybe to the mouth of his base. Or maybe just back and hold the watchtowers, hold, you know, hold my own base back home and get my natural up straight away. I held around a little bit too long, I actually ended up running in all my zealots and getting them killed, and lost a good chunk of money for my army. The second thing, of course, I would have liked to have seen is after I ran up here and killed this third, which is obviously now being remake, and after I ran up here and killed this third, I would have again liked to see me pull on back, grab the watchtowers. You know, I don't, you don't need to run in for the kill, um... You know, once you've done a good bit of damage, if you kill an expansion, put down an expansion. You know, that's what I really need to have taken away from this game. Obviously, all the time, I need a little bit more scouting information. I would have, again, liked to have seen maybe an observer up here, or maybe sitting down here, just to make sure that, you know, when pushes were coming, if there were any transitions, anything like that. We never did get to see if I can find it. The Spire come into play, but it would have been good to know that it was there, and then have an appropriate response. I hope you're learning from my games as well. I'm definitely learning, and I hope you're enjoying the content. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later on. Bye-bye.